the last time we got here, we figured out that the four chord triad is the number one success story in the Western world when it comes to music. How do you take that four chord progression and turn it into a song? You add a vocal to it to begin with. Vocals being the number one aspect to a song, well, to a memorable Western song. Forget the, the classical instrumentals only. I'm talking about the, the pop charts. Get the vocals right, get the song right. That's, I've said that before. How do you know how to sing? What notes do you hit when you sing? The bar chord is a first point hint at where you can go. Let me get this straight, first off. There's no wrong or right. It's, it's what you choose to make out of what you hear. And it's also up to the consumer, if you wish to reach the audience, to rate what comes out as good or not. So there's no right or wrong. It's more like just a, a dial of a rating system, whether it's very liked or very disliked. So what you have is the four chord progression. Right, you can do it in fours. You can do it in eights. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, now use the bar chord, which is this shape. I'm not gonna tell you how it is, other than just look at it, zoom in, That's how it is, that's how my hand is. Okay, I'll tell you. It's this finger there, this finger there, pinky there, this middle finger there, and then all the way down. Now, excuse the fact that I'm missing a sixth string. Who needs it, right, when you're creating? So, now, those are the notes in this bar chord. The next chord along, now, I could choose to do a major, but it just sounds right that it's gonna be a minor, which is literally just take this finger off and leave it open to this finger there. Now, where does your voice go? Hmm. It's a little bit boring. Reason being is your voice is resonating at the same frequency as the string. So there's no harmonization going on. Yes, it's correct, but it's not really doing much. So choose the next one along. It just sounds a little bit more interesting. What's happening there is the string is, is vibrating at one frequency and the frequency of your voice, the vibrations of your vocal cord is vibrating at a different frequency. So what's happening there is they are interacting with each other and they're forming another wave, a more interesting, fuller wave. You don't have to choose that note. You can go to the next one along. Hmm, which is actually really the same as this one. Hmm, 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 hmm. Can't do it. Forget it. Voice can't do that. Move along. So what's the next one? Hmm, 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 or hmm, or hmm. So. Now this is where it gets really interesting. You don't have to choose one specific note for the whole chord progression. You can move along. You can go. To be honest, I don't know what I just did there, but that's where my head took me. On the next one, that's where it gets interesting because it changes up. And there's something about change in the notes that humans enjoy. I think that's, that's the, in, the joyful moment. I'd love to get into the science behind why humans like music. 
uh, I don't really know, but if you know a channel that has a good description of why we enjoy music, send it to me, please, or just leave a comment down below. But so next call along, you can do the same, exactly the same thing. See, I'm, I'm hitting this bass note and I'm resonating with this note. Just sounds okay. And then. So, this song is telling me right now to go like this. I have no idea how that sounds. I'm gonna listen back to it. I'm probably gonna hate it, but random sets of notes that I chose to sing with my voice alongside that four chord triad. Next time we'll get into adding lyrics to that, how to go about it. This is a really, really tough bit. I, I struggle with writing. My articulation is, is weak and my my creative wording is null and void. So I'm going to show you a couple of techniques that I've used to improve your writing skills. To be honest, I don't have any techniques. I'm just going to YouTube other YouTubers and, and see what's best. No, I'm not going to do that. Next up, we're going to change the chord progression a bit, just to give it a little bit of variety and make the song a little bit more interesting.